them in if you need to. Okay, now that we have the caliper and the bracket off, we can remove the rotor and you can see the inside drum. Inside drum actually doesn't look too bad. It's not gouged out. The brake shoes themselves don't look too bad. Okay, can we get a close up of this right here? This is what needs to be adjusted after time that these brakes wear down. These are just for the emergency brakes. You're not using them on a daily basis. But if we could adjust this with a flathead screwdriver, get this to spin. And if it doesn't, it could be frozen. I'm not sure which way it needs to turn, but it needs to open up to expand these closer. And what I want to see happening is this expanding. So I see a little more space there than I did a little while ago. And what I'm going to do before I go too far is make sure that the drum will go back on. Okay, if I open it up too much, the drum won't fit back on. So I'll check it. Okay, still fits. I want to almost feel the brake, so I'm going to go a little bit more here. And you can see the difference, right? That's opening up. Starting to feel it a little bit. I think we can go a little more. Okay, there we go. So now I'm starting to get a little resistance on the drum. Now I don't want that much resistance because it'll just heat up. And now I know where my point is and I could bring it back down a little bit. <laughs> right to the point where it's close, but not adding friction while I'm driving. I think that'll do it. Thank you.